What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AlexVet21 back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about antennas, antenna gain, directional, omnidirectional, all antennas. Um, so I have been kind of messing around with different brands of omnidirectional antennas. Um, so here's my bald iris sardine. Now my earnings are down over 50%. And that's just everyone's earnings are down, right? If I go to my 30 day, um, I was doing really well in the beginning. And some days I would do really well. Some days I would do like nothing. Um, I was I was averaging like 13, 14 dollars a day consistently, um, very consistently. But just recently, for some reason, everyone's earnings. This guy right here um, was doing. $20 a day easily 18 to 20 dollars a day. This guy's making seven dollars a day. This guy's earnings are down A lot this guy. Oh, actually the 30 day wasn't that great um, But this guy was doing really well and his earnings are down I mean look at look at the coverage that he's doing look at this coverage and he's getting seven dollars a day That's it. This guy was making almost twenty dollars a day um Everyone was doing well, um, but let's go back to my hotspot. So this hotspot right here, um, I was running a rack, a rack eight DBI antenna. Okay, now rack antennas are not tuned, right? They just they basically buy them from China and just ship them out, right? They don't they don't test them, <clears throat> they don't do anything with them. Um, and then I bought a um, an off what was it called? Off grid not was it off grid um let me find the company it was i think it was off grid it was iot off grid so these guys this antenna is actually really nice they're sold out they're ch they're pretty cheap they're about the same price but these are tuned and tested right so they, before they ship them out they test them um this is also a really tall antenna the rack antenna is pretty like it's short um, so you can get high, you can get higher up with this antenna too. Um, oh, it does say ready to ship, but this antenna is tuned and it's ready to go. So when I first used my rack, I was making. Um, this was back when earnings were up, so I was making eight nine dollars a day. Okay, when I first set this miner up with a rack eight dBi antenna, and then I bought an IoT off grid tuned omnidirectional 8 dbi antenna and my earnings jumped up to 14 15 dollars and now I'm, I'm still using that antenna but when i was using the rack these guys right here would not get with this and these two miners right here were the top earners in this area and they make me a lot of money well they did because these guys were doing really well these guys are making like 20 dollars a day um now they're obviously making seven dollars a day and i'm making five so obviously something in the network happened over the past couple weeks and everyone's earn earnings are down. I mean, even look, I got this guy way over here. Let's see what this guy's doing. Two, oh, he's only doing two, 2.6 a month. He's not even mining anymore. Yeah, this guy's not doing too hot. He only has one witness. Now, if we go to my off grid, which is right here, I just set this up last night, okay? And on this hotspot, I'm running this, um, 3 dbi total it's 360 degrees as you can see it's totally it's 360 degrees 3 dbi so it i mean three if you have 3 dbi is not bad but this is 360 degrees so like it's they're gonna bounce right all your signals are gonna bounce around and you can get witnesses in crazy areas because it's coverage all around so you know it's sending signals out every direction which way it's bouncing off things you can i i'm still testing it i just set this up last night um it challenged let's see when did it challenge it challenged 15 hours ago so in 15 hours i have three witnesses and five beacons so i'm hoping this thing was going to do better than my other miner um I, I guess today will tell how well it does um i mean it's already two it's already two o'clock but <clears throat> i guess we'll see hopefully this Antenna. This antenna was two hundred dollars, one hundred fifty. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna probably upgrade this to a directional antenna and go this way, because this is all line of sight here. I have this antenna up really high, and this is basically all line of sight. And if we go to hot spotty, so 
this is a great tool because you can tell which miners are online. If you look at this, you know, these most of these miners are probably offline and it doesn't tell you that because people just place their hotspot somewhere and they just don't, they just forget about it. So let's go to this, my miner. <clears throat> and let's wait for it to load. If it fucking loads, Jesus. So most of these miners are online, right? <clears throat> As you can see. And this is pretty much line of sight. If I could get, so this right here is a 12 dBi directional antenna for $99. It's not tuned, it's not, it, it's it's just a 12 dBi directional antenna. It's not I don't it's not made for helium. Like if you go to McGill, um, like this is a 10 dBi tuned directional antenna, but it's two hundred and twenty nine dollars. Um, <clears throat> so I w I would like to test these two and see how well they do, because something like this I feel would be great in like a city, not really rural. I feel like this kind of antenna would be great. If you're surrounded by hotspots three like all around you right and you want to get everyone around you it's so like a, a city would be perfect this antenna would be perfect for a city <coughs> and something like this you know a directional antenna would be perfect if you're trying to get in a location and they're not it's not totally directional right it's so like if i place it here facing this way it's gonna get probably these these it's most likely not gonna get anything behind it but you know along the sides maybe um, but I'm trying to concentrate more either this way or this way. Um, probably this way because it's more line of sight, I feel like. Uh, yeah, I could totally put it this way and get these. Um, I'm going to test it. I'm probably going to pull the trigger and buy this McGill just because I've heard such good things about McGill. You know, they're all, the antennas are all tested. They're all, you know, they're not cheap. Um, um, but yeah, I don't know if I would get, they got, let's see what other ones they got. Um, <clears throat> antenna, helium antennas, directional tuned and optimized. 10 dBi and 9 dBi. So they're the same price. I honestly don't know what the difference is. Like, what's, is it just just one dBi difference? Like, does that change anything? Are these specs the same? The specs are literally the same. But the 10 dBi is a little bigger. They're the same price. I don't know why you wouldn't just buy the 10 dBi. I mean, they're the same price. I, I don't, I don't see the, the need for that. This is only $99, though. And this is a 12 dBi directional antenna. Um, one review. But it's not, you know, it's not, you know, it says optimized for helium antennas, right? These are optimized helium antennas. This is just like a normal, I don't know, I I'd like to buy both of these and test them. Um, but if you're looking for omnidirectional antennas, I don't, I, I don't have, I've never purchased an omnidirectional antenna from McGill, but I feel like these would be pretty nice too. Um... It doesn't look that long though, but this is 7.5 dBi. Uh, hopefully this is not a bust because I feel like it should get these too. I don't know why it's, I mean, three, <clears throat> three witnesses in a day is not horrible because it's just the first day. I guess we'll have to just see, time, only time will tell, I guess, um, but I guess I'll post another update video in a week and update on how this is working. And I'm going to pull the trigger and buy this and test this. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.